Hello, this is Miroslava. I am the metaphysical chick and I wanted to share with you a very beautiful message for this Valentine's Day. I was um, working out the other day and I was looking at my altar and immediately my eyes went directly to the images that I have of Yeshua and Mary Magdalene. And what I heard is on February 14th, we celebrate the sacred marriage. This is a ceremony of oneness. And I wanted to share this because this symbolizes the return of the Divine Feminine or the Christed Divine Feminine, which is the feminine aspect of God in human form. And that is the sacred marriage. The Divine Feminine is descending into the bodies of those that are ready to embody that consciousness. And it is emerging in divine union with the masculine energy that already exists within us. Because uh, in all honesty, most of us have been living our lives with the masculine energy, embodying that masculine energy. And so the feminine has been casted to the side because we are, we've never been comfortable with it because we've been shamed for it. And so that's the return. And um, so I thought that was very beautiful. And also what I've been experiencing is um, the love that Mary Magdalene shared with Yeshua and not the love that connects us, connects all of us and brings us into divine union within each other but the love that they shared, the love that these twin flames have for each other not the love that they have for, my, for me but the love that they have for each other and so I've been really feeling that love and what I was what I heard is that I am here to give a voice to that love and to bring awareness to the relationship and to the connection that they had when they embodied this physical human vessel and so that's definitely something that I'm gonna be bringing up a lot more and I'm very excited about that but um, so I wanted to again like I said this they said it was going to be the celebration of the sacred marriage and so what does that mean and so to explain this a little bit i am going to read a uh, verse from the gospel of thomas and these are the words of yeshua when you make two into one and when you make the inner like the outer and the outer like the inner and the upper like the lower and when you make male and female into a single one, so that the male will not be male, nor the female be female, then you will enter the kingdom of God. And then there's this other verse from the Gospel of Philip, and this one says, The Holy of Holies is the bridal chamber or communion. The consciousness in the embrace is exalted above all. With this, I do believe that Yeshua is referring to two things, and he is referring to the divine union of the masculine and the feminine counterpart. When they enter the bridal chamber to achieve divine union within each other, and when they engage in sex magic or in uh, sexual alchemy, and that is a beautiful practice. But he is also referring to the divine union within ourselves, within our polarity, the feminine and the masculine energies that exist within ourselves. And I believe that is the most important union that we'll ever achieve, not only in physical form, but in spirit, because the polarity is there, the feminine and the masculine. And that is the sacred marriage that uh, Mary Magdalene and Yeshua were both referring to. I truly believe that this marriage is the Holy of Holies. And when one is able to embody uh, that divinity, then there really is nothing that one cannot do. 
and so I invite you to reconcile with your own masculine and feminine energies and really step uh, step out of the matrix step out of the illusion because everything that is happening in the world right now is simply that an illusion there is so much fear there is so much love and that love exists within yourself i want to close this with a message for the people that are on the twin flame journey or that are struggling with relationships um just know that again this sacred marriage is to be taken place within first so that it can then manifest in a counterpart that reflects the same energy that you embody and so if you are single do not be sad you are not alone and there is more than enough love within yourself to make this day the most magical day of your life just know that and reach out to mary magdalene and yeshua if you are struggling to feel that love they'll give it to you they'll remind you of the true frequency of that divine love